Hey everyone, welcome back to Fantasy Theory. I'm very late to this, but a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, the Madam Web trailer released and it had a lot going on. It's safe to say the average viewer does not know some of these characters, but that's okay, because we're here to break it down, go scene by scene, and talk about this trailer. Now this is part of the Sony-verse, the same Sony-verse with like no clear Spider-Man for the universe, but I'm hoping it's either Toby or Andrew for the Spider-Man, maybe Andrew more because if I remember correctly, they tried to start a universe with Andrew a long time ago. This was canceled after bad backlash for the amazing Spider-Man 2, but maybe with some love Andrew got in No Way Home, they'll reconsider it. Anyway, this releases the same year as Venom 3 and Craven the Hunter next year. And if you want to laugh, go to the comments under the Sony YouTube post of the trailer. Absolutely hilarious. With that being said, though, let's jump right into it. The trailer starts with Webb entering the four-star diner, which has made its appearance in Spider-Man comics. As she enters the diner, we see three teen girls who will be the group we will follow during the movie. They seem to be hanging around a group of boys wearing shirts that say Midtown High Basketball. This is an interesting detail being that Tom Holland's Peter Parker goes to this high school. This is clearly a different universe than the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as well as different universes than any other Spider-Verse that we've seen of right now, Casey is trying to get the girls to leave when Ezekiel Sims Spider-Man enters the diner. A fight breaks out between the two. Casey smashes a bottle on his head which, which causes him to toss her across the room. What's cool to see as he does this is the scene inverts to his point of view upside down. Now a consistent theme throughout this movie seems to be time travel. We will see further into the trailer bits into Casey's future and past as she tries to redo moments in time to possibly fix them or stop something bad from happening. This scene is something of the future of what's to come. We get a glance at Julia on the floor knocked out or possibly even killed by Ezekiel here. And then next, Ezekiel chokes Maddie and tosses her and then choke slams Anya, taking out all three girls. Then he steals a knife from Casey's hand and, and stabs her, which does not kill her, but brings her back to the beginning scene, which we hear her say, let's try this again. Now, Madam Webb, otherwise known as Cassandra Webb, is a psychic mutant that has the ability to see into the future. This actually pushes her to become a possible very important character in the Spider-Verse as she's connected to the web of life and destiny. Now, we also get our answers throughout this trailer of, of just who these three girls girls are. Julia is Julia Carpenter, Maddie is Maddie Franklin, both variants of Spider-Woman, and Anya as Spider-Girl. Ezekiel Sims in the comics is a barefooted strange man who encounters Peter Parker who has similar powers to Spider-Man. However, he gets his powers by spider totems while exploring the jungle. Now let's get back to the trailer. Casey is a paramedic in New York and keeps getting visions or glimpses of different events that occur in the future. Trying to save someone while working, she falls off a bridge and hits the water. In this exchange, we see a woman with a baby not exactly sure who the baby is, could be a Peter Parker variant, or just an ordinary baby what do you guys think we also see her in the forest with a spider web in front of her and a hand that looks like it's covered in a venom symbiote or a spider suit now we get adam scott playing a character we don't exactly know who it is yet however the rumors are that he's playing a young ben parker which if he's playing ben parker for all my Park and Rec fans, this isn't the first time he's playing a role with a character, Ben. Casey's talking to a doctor when she says she sees the future, and then we see behind her an ambulance is hit by a truck. She's seen giving CPR to someone, and the scene flashes to now the person who is receiving CPR as a paramedic. Perhaps she's taking responsibility for his death because she saw it happen and did not know how to stop it. Next scene is a long train sequence with a barefooted Ezekiel attacking Maddie, Julia, and Anya, who are passengers on the train. It then starts the scene over with Casey yelling to get off the train, there's a man trying to kill you. So so what's clear to me is that Casey is having visions of the future but is trying to redo those moments in time to prevent what she sees happening from coming true. All the girls are now in the woods, I'm assuming after one of their fights with Ezekiel. Cassie explains that Ezekiel was with her mother in the Amazon when she died while researching spiders. There's a picture of them on, on the back of the photo it says Constance and Ezekiel, Peruvian Amazon, 1973. In the mother's notebook, there's a drawing of Spider-Man and some writing that describes the characteristics of the spiders. The gang realizes that Casey is connected to all of them in some way. Casey lives in Anya's building, Casey was the paramedic when Julia was walking in the hospital hallway, and Maddie almost was hit by the ambulance driven by Casey. We jump next to seeing the girls fighting in their suits. Julia is in an almost exact black and white Spider-Woman suit. Maddie is in a pretty cool Spider-Woman suit with the mechanical arms attached, and Anya in her Spider-Girl suit, however, we can only see so far through her eye goggles like in the comics. Casey believes Ezekiel can see into the future as well as we can see Julia striking an older looking Ezekiel with, with some weird gold like beams. We get a better look at Ezekiel's red and black suit which I have to say is pretty intimidating for a Spider-Man variant. Ezekiel is seen attacking the group again and there is a chase between him and the group in an ambulance which actually looks pretty cool. We see in Casey's eyes an instance of her visions in web form, perhaps the web of life and destiny. Now this is just a quick breakdown of the trailer, I just wanted to jump in it for a little bit, see what some things I noticed. The song that you hear throughout the entire trailer is called Bury Your Friend, I think it's an epic version, which is by Billie Eilish. But yeah, I mean, I'm actually pretty excited for this, I, I had no real hopes for it, but I'm actually 
intrigued by the trailer. But you guys let me know what you thought of the trailer. If you think it's going to answer any questions or pose more questions and answer them. And if it's going to set up a Sonyverse or somehow connect the MCU to the Sonyverse. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one. Have an incredible day.